of us have a pillar of happiness in our life where we say, if I have this thing, if I have this thing, I can be happy. The desires of my heart can be fulfilled. And it can be different for all of us. It can change at different seasons of our life. But right now, I want you to think, and I want you to just look into your own heart and say, you know, what is, what is my pillar, my foundation of happiness? That, that, that I've been telling myself, if I get this, if I get this, if I have this, if this happens, then man, then I'll really, I'll really be fulfilled. I'm not saying that there, there isn't all kinds of things you find happiness in, but I'm saying, what is the cornerstone? What's, what's the thing that, that we ultimately really comfort ourselves with? What's the thing that, that we, we might know better, but what our heart says, no, this is it. This is it. Now, here's what I would say to you today. This is where we all go wrong. We pick the wrong cornerstone. We pick the wrong pillar. We pick the wrong blankie, if you will. Because what does the psalmist say? He says, here is the path. Delight yourself in the Lord. That's the path. That's the foundation. That's the pillar. Delight yourself in your career. Nope. Doesn't mean you can't enjoy your career, right? Doesn't mean you, you, you should be happy if things go well and it's okay to be upset when they don't. But he's saying it's, it's not the pillar. Delight yourself in the approval of that person. Nope. We're, here's what my point is. We, we can get caught in that rat race. And, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't find joy in all those things. Absolutely. And I'm not even saying you shouldn't want all those things. But what I do want to look at is the wisdom of what this psalm says. Delight yourself in the Lord. All those things are great. But you know what? The foundation of my happiness is Jesus Christ, is his presence, is my relationship with him. Some of those things, you know, there's going to be ups and downs in my career. There's going to be ups and downs in my family. There's going to be ups and downs in the world around us. Don't, don't we know that? Welcome to 2020. Lots of downs. But you know what? I can still delight myself in the Lord through all of that. And what is the promise of it? Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. When I keep going back to him, when I keep connecting to him, when I, when I keep growing that relationship, then there, there is a strength and stability of meaning in my life that can guide me through all these things.